Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at MyMaya.com. Today we're looking at the top five twigs for your control center. So let's get started. The first one we're going to look at is Add Dial for iOS 7. This adds a way for you to call or add a contact or bring up your dial pad directly from the control center. You get three buttons here. You see the Add button. If I tap that, I can add a contact that fast. If I tap Dial, I get the dial pad and the call of course you know what that does very awesome tweak it's 99 cents in the big boss repo be sure to check it out the next one we're looking at is called cc hide cc hide allows you to hide and control different things directly from your control center if you want to get rid of something down here uh, such as the quick launch here we can turn that off by simply going to the settings for cc hide that's the, that's these right here we're turn, let's turn it all off and see how it looks. Now you see um, we've turned the brightness off, media controls, and airplay, which we enable it down below, but we need to turn it back on because we're using it. Okay, there it is. It's back. And it just allows you more control of it over your control center called CC Hide. This one is called Flip Control Center, and it's by Ryan Patrick. He's one of the best developers in the jailbreak community. So if we go into settings and open up flip control settings, you can see in here that you can move things around and add active switches. Uh, you can order them however you would wish. Uh, this is an iPod, so there's no need to ha even have the ringer up here. So we can turn it off. Let's turn that off. Auto lock compose for Aki I don't use that the rest of those look pretty good but I'm gonna take do not disturb down there I don't use it now when we pull these up you see we have the, the five that we want right there on top and switches per page if you only wanted two switches on each page now look you only have two and then you could flip through them this pretty much just like all the other tweaks it just gives you more control here's your bottom shelf you can change up called flip control center okay guys the next one we're looking at is called polis you can get this for 99 cents in the big boss repo and it allows you to add much more control to your control center by adding customizable buttons for apps toggles and much more and it says it includes over 300 app icon glyphs to choose from for your different toggles and apps and I'll show you more about those uh, icon either okay that's app.net so if we wanted to go in and add a glyph to that uh, it'd be very easily done but here's the configuration settings here you see you have the top shelf and bottom shelf and if you wanted to add uh, any kind of app that's not here you just simply tap the plus button here here's all of your I'm going to actually remove AdSense, and if we want to include, let's say, Backblaze, because we know it's not there, and then if we wanted to hit Toggles, and we're going to add Respring, and we're going to hit Done. Now it's going to add those things for us in the Control Center here. Now somewhere in here, there's Respring, and I'm going to take a guess that that right there is Backblaze, and you saw that it was. And what we need to do is we need to add a glyph to Backblaze. So we go up here and select Backblaze, select Icon. And in here we're going to just choose something that we can remember it by. Okay. It's a backup is what Backblaze is. So what could we call it? We'll just simply use these arrows here. Right there. Now if we come back out. We have to do a respring in order to get that to work. I'm also going to move this up the list so we don't have to scroll around to find it. Okay, I'm going to move it right here on top. And now we're going to respring. So I'm going to pull up my control center and go over here to the end and tap respring. And when it comes back up, we should have the little arrows. It's, it looks like the recycle icon is what it probably is, but we ha should have that in place for our 
back blaze icon in here. So let's pull up, uh, and right there it is, the second one. You see it there? Guys, there's a whole lot you can do with Polis. That's just the tip of the iceberg. That was the top shelf that we fiddle around with a little bit right then. So if we fiddle around with the bottom shelf now, you see we got it selected and we have clock, calculator, city of messages and those. So if we wanted to remove messages, okay, taking it out, I'm gonna take a calculator out too. And now when we pull it up, you see we only have those four in there. So you can customize and add different icons to any and about everything imaginable. You can also set activator actions for your uh, settings. Let's go up to top, top shelf here. Now, if we wanted to set a activator action on app advice and activator action, we're going to set activator action. And when we tap and hold that particular button, app advice, it's going to take a screenshot, okay? Let me find screenshot. All right. Now let's go back out, flip it up. And now when we find app advice, it's up here somewhere. Is it the check mark? And you saw right then it took a, it took a screenshot. So it works. It's an awesome way to configure your control center guys I could spend a whole lot more time in here but we just don't have it to spare okay okay and the next one we're looking at is called share widget for control center and it adds Facebook and Twitter plugins or buttons to your control center so if you flip up you see we got two buttons here Facebook and Twitter that's what this share button does it allows you to be able to share much faster by simply using those buttons directly inside the control center and it's called share widget for control center and it's free in the big boss repo guys that's five awesome tweaks don't forget to share these hit that subscribe button and keep coming back